A chance visit to the National Botanic Garden near the U.S. Capitol changed Ruth Cassinger's life. I walked in and the glass doors opened and I stepped into a beautiful, green, lush, warm and humid uh, jungle. And I walked around for a while and was just stunned by how beautiful and, and full of life this place was. After a bout with breast cancer and her sister's untimely death, Kessinger sought a refuge in her suburban Maryland home. But getting started presented hurdles. I was not a gardener. In fact, I hated gardening. The solution, she would grow plants indoors in pots. She tore down her worn backyard deck and built a room separated from the rest of the house by sliding glass doors. And she filled the home conservatory with orange, lime, and lemon trees and an unusual yellow citrus with tentacle-like fingers called a Buddha's hand. I like the idea of them being useful plants as well as beautiful plants. Here, Kessinger tends a dense array of ferns, thick leafy plants, and red heart-shaped flowers with tall spikes native to tropical jungles. And she enjoys kumquats. This is really good. The vertical garden is easy to care for. A hose connected to a pump feeds the foliage, which grows without soil between thin layers of synthetic felt. The water trickles down four times a day. It's on a timer and waters my plants. And it's really great for a lazy gardener as I am because you really don't have to do anything other than once a week add more water and fertilizer to the trough. Kessinger says her conservatory has grown in unexpected ways. At first she saw the space as a cocoon protecting her from decline and loss. But it has evolved into something different. Once we had the conservatory, we moved uh, a kitchen table in there and now eat all of our meals in the conservatory. This Garden of Eden for me did show me that the real joy of life is not to be isolated uh, by myself without my family and friends. <laughs> Today in that paradise, her youngest daughter Alice joins her for a cup of tea. In her book, Paradise Under Glass, she writes that real paradise is not a quiet, immutable refuge, but a place where there is always something new under the sun. Cassinger says her Garden of Eden reminds her every day that she can live with life's losses, both large and small. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.